Hi, I'm Jason Scudelaire with CPP, and anytime you do an LS swap, you're gonna need an air intake system. We have a couple different styles here. One being black ABS, it's got different lengths, different angles, you cut that one to fit. We've got our air filter here. This one is reduced from six inch to four inch. You can get that just in a four inch with the coupler on it. Over here, we got more of a show and go. All aluminum, all four inch, different angles, couplers, different lengths of straight. We also got mounts for your mass airflow sensor. When you do plan out your system, just mark down what angles you're gonna need, find the part number, order, we'll send it out to you. So now I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to install one of these, make it easy for you. All you need to do is order. So we got our LS and our C10 here. Ultimate goal, come out of the throttle body, get the air cleaner as far away from any heat sources so we have more cold air going in there, which equals more power. This will work perfectly fine in the air cleaner somewhere over here, but like I said, I wanna get over in this area furthest away from any heat sources. Um, we've got a mass airflow sensor to mount. We're also gonna put a mount in there to support any of the air ducting, just to keep that weight off from hanging just here at the throttle body. So let's get started. So I put our 90 degree uh, coupler on here, and I think from there, I flip this around, I can come off there and end up somewhere over in this area where I wanted the filter. That way we got all cold air. So let's cut this and fit it. So I got it all trimmed up, let's test fit it. All right, I think something like that's gonna work. I'll bring the air filter over there and see what we got. So let's fit our air filter to our duct. Get that all back installed. All right, so it looks like everything fits pretty good. Um, I still need to install a mass airflow sensor and also a vent for that valve cover over there. Time to mount our mass airflow sensor. Be sure to look at your EFI instructions to get the mass airflow sensor the proper distance away from the throttle body. I've already kind of pre-marked that under here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple extra marks under here. I'm also gonna put a little mark under here for our breather for our valve cover. All right, mass airflow sensor is installed. Be sure it's in the proper direction. I also put a hole and a grommet here for our breather. The installation is complete. Mass airflow sensor is installed and plugged in. We got a breather under there also. And I went ahead and made a little bracket here just to hold the weight of it. It's secure. All that's left is starting it up. All right, so now that we've done one install with the ABS plastic, we're gonna come back now and do one with a little more of the show and go and all the aluminum. So we got our 90 installed. Now it's time to put a straight in there. These come in different lengths like I showed you on the table. This one's got the mass airflow sensor mount already on it. Um, I'm trying not to cut anything. I wanna see if we can make all this fit without any modifications to what we have. So let's give this a shot. If you do need to cut it, it's just an aluminum cutoff wheel, simple, um, done deal. So let's get this installed. 45 on there, let's tighten it up. Okay, now time for the air filter. Put that down here. We want this as far away as possible from any heat source. And that's about, well, we're gonna put it right there. So, mass airflow sensor, supplied hardware. Plug that in. So I've installed a bracket down here. We're gonna put a clamp around there just to secure everything. And I'll wrap it up. All right, here we go. All right, so I've walked you through a couple easy steps to build your own air intake. All that's left is visiting classicperform.com.